because he's going to be really snarled up, isn't he, in that gateway? File of infantry got into a terrible mess there, didn't they? Anyhow, let's have a look see what that other infantry are doing with against my cavalry. They might well just be chasing straight into where my cavalry are, which is not what I want to happen at all. Where are we? Not sure what they're doing, really. Ah, no, they do seem to be coming round now, don't they? Yeah, well I think they're coming round. And, yeah, they're coming into range as well, so we should be able to fire at those soon. I'm just going to disable their fire, actually, for a second. Until we can get them a little bit more fully into view. Otherwise, we're only firing a few men, you see, and I don't want to be doing that. I'd rather be firing all of them. Ah, he's pulling them out, in fact. Well, what's he doing? Looks like he might be... Um, let's just take a quick look over here and see what's happening here. Right, OK. All seems to be quite well over here. Yep. Should be getting some decent firing against those soon. Right, well look, I'm going to have to concentrate on the other side, so I'm going to put those on fire attack there. Might be worth dismounting some dragoons over here. Just to give them a bit of fire. Oh, come on. Stop messing around, eh? What's he doing there? He's still bearing down, isn't he? So, I think we have to get the dragoons out here. We've got some dragoons here. So, let's get some dragoons dismounted. And we'll give him a bit of fire from now, if he wants to. If he wants to play, let's have some fun. Oh no, he's turning in now. Now I've decided to do that. Fairly typical, isn't it, eh? OK, I'll remount those Dragoons, because I'm going to want them for chasing people. He's coming into the line of fire now, so we'll just um, give him a bit of grief there from the um, good old musket shot. OK, looking over here. Blimey, who's this routing? Oh, it's his. So we're OK there. Just do the usual bit, take them off fire for a minute, let them start reloading. Ready for the next lot that's coming in. He's got, how long left? Seven minutes and 26 left. So I hope he's good, because he's going to need to be. Here we come, Seek Warriors. He's throwing in his best troops here now. Let's see if we can get a fire in. How close are we? Come on, lads, you should be reloaded by now, I would have thought. OK, give him hell. Come on, surely you reload and you can fire now. No firing whatsoever. Well, I misjudged that one quite badly. I'm going to put those on fire and melee and see what happens. Nope, they're all going to have to be on melee, those, I'm afraid. We don't seem to get any firing in there at all against those. Very disappointing. That's because I wasn't really watching them, I think. I was concentrating too much over here. Now, what I will do is send those horsemen after those. These are the ones that came back, if you remember. So, take those out. That's still mine, so that horse can't come around there. So, what I'll do is just see if we can take those out. Just trying to reduce his troops as much as we can so it costs him a fortune to fight these wars. How are we doing here, lad? 93 out of 120. It's not looking as good as I'd like it to be. So I'm going to send some uh, grenadiers in there just to boost them up a little bit with their melee attack. Right, he seems to be routing now. I hope. No, he's just wavering, actually. No, he's routing now, he's broken. OK, so we're going to get our chaps now back on. Now, I'll pull those back, we don't need you. Come on, lads. Get yourself organised. Right. No, we didn't need you. OK, so we're going to get these back into uh, melee, uh, sorry, into um, uh, musketry. 
formation. And we should be loaded from last time. These boys should be able to fire. You just need to get your act together, lads. Come on, it's all about firing at the enemy. 74 against about out of 120. Right. Come on, I don't know what you're waiting for. Now is your chance to fire. What are they going to do? They're going to reload. We're down to 68. We're down to 66 and you're not firing. Come on lads, surely you can fire. Right, now then. Might have to, might be tempted just to bring those out. I don't really want to. Um, Now, we have to be careful here now, because what I'm going to do is hit them with my um, howitzers. Now, that's a bit risky, because if he starts to move forward, then I could be in trouble. Okay. Right, he's routing there now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move those out of the way. I'm going to bring some from the back, because those chaps there are struggling a bit. Right. I'm going to move those over from there, and I'm going to get them to run over. So we're going to send some reinforcements in, basically, because those chaps are struggling a bit. When they get into that position there, I'm going to move those chaps over to the position where I've drawn them from. How are they doing? 7 out of 120 there. Okay, So we seem to have got rid of quite a few of those. That was quite handy. Are they nearly there? I think they're nearly there. They're close enough, anyway, for me to bring these chaps over to this side, anyway, I think. And we'll run those around there. We've kept them up to 64, which is good news, because um, they're above 60. So when I replenish them, they will still retain the two chevrons, which is important to me. Now, he seems to have been attacking me in this outhouse here. What have I got? This outbuilding. 68 out of 120, 95 out of 120. So he's got troops in there as well, which are likely to appear from here. When they appear from there, we should then be able to give them some pretty decent fire. Okay, so what I'm waiting for now in the remaining, what have we got? 4 minutes 45 seconds. I'm hoping for all his cavalry to come charging through here so that we can... What's he got there? Armed peasantry. I don't think we'll worry too much about those. Burger lancers. Should we hit those a bit? Why not? What else has he got over here? Got any decent inventory here? Burger lancers. Silly Dar Lancers. Well, we've got to hit somebody with the artillery, so we'll hit those. What we don't want to be doing is hitting anything that's too close to our own men. Right, now I'll just have a quick look over where those uh, cavalry are. They should have wiped out that infantry by now. Well, there's seven of them left. I don't think it's possible for seven men to come on back onto the field, so we won't worry too much about those. I'm just going backwards now because I'm going to put them right back in their little box. Yeah, ready to be used again. Right, speed them through. Okay, so we've refreshed our troops on this side. That's one of the advantages to a square formation, or indeed any sort of um, grouped formation like this. You can borrow troops from one side and move them over to another. So we seem to be firing at something. Was it these chaps seem to have occupied this building now. No, they're coming out. Ah, uh, here they go. Or are they mine? <laughs> yep, no, they're mine. <laughs> so it looks like I, I would expect you come out after them. You know, really. There you go. There they are. OK, what have we got there? 69 out of 120. Hindu Musketeers. So he's chased me out of there. He's suffered accordingly, though, hasn't he? 69 out of 120. Now, we should start firing at those any minute now. I would certainly expect so, anyway. Come on, lads. What are you doing? There you go, they're all firing. Yep, all reloading. There we go, one or two of them went down. Oh, 46. So there's quite a few of them went down there. Oh, quite a few uh, bodies around the place. You can tell there's definitely been a battle going on. These chaps will be getting a bit tired now, thinking, who on earth is going to dig all of those graves? 